Here we are with our Linda. Post off the next day. Is it on? Yes. Look at our little girl. Oh, Linda. She looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Come here, Amy. Amy. I am. I'm Do coming. your thing. Look at this little face. Oh. Can you close the door behind? Hi, Linda. Hi, beautiful girl. Look at you with your new haircut. Oh, with her little sweater. Do you feel good, Mommy? Do you feel so good, Mommy? This is only one day after. Not surgery. even. It's like not even 12 hours. It was yesterday in the afternoon. Hours. She was incredible after surgery. It was almost like if she knew she felt better. Like. And Dr. Carlos took her home. You guys took her home. Oh, no, no worries. Oh, this is so amazing. Hey, everyone. <clears throat> Can you see us? This is Amy. I'm here with Lori. Thank you. No problem. Um, this is uh, Linda. <gasps> this is our sweet Linda. You probably don't even recognize her. She had her massive tumor. We've been posting those awful photos. People were like, oh, my God, Amy, what is that? What is that? And that was her tumor. She had a whole channel of mammaries that were all lumpy and infected, and the whole channel was removed. Um, after she was done with surgery, Dr. Carlos, while she was under sedation, shaved her down, got rid of all God. that matted mess <gasps> that was all over her. And I see chicken traces <laughs> on your little chin. You're telling me she can't see? She is looking. I'm sorry. It's I'm just voices. I think she just see, she hears the voices. Know. Look, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. Amy, I've, I've sat and done it. There's you, when you touch a lash, she does. I don't know. She's got to go to the eye. Hi. Hey Here is the miracle worker who we love, Dr. Carlo. Say hi. Hello. Oh my God! I can't believe. Yeah, she's she she she's rallied. Amazing. She rallied so well. She did great under anesthesia. Woke up without any issues or concerns. Um, I think was back eating back within two hours of waking up. Um, and no, she's been a trooper. I mean, obviously, you know, she's coming around every day. Her energy's building up, so she's been fantastic. Um, we're off our fluids now and uh, on oral medications and. Mm -hmm. We're definitely uh, on that right road right now. Dr. Carlos, you are apps. This is Dr. Carlos from Neighborhood Veterinary Center in Hallandale. And let me tell you, if you are looking for the most compassionate... With a capital with C. With a capital C. <laughs> I mean, this is the veterinarian office to come to, Dr. Carlos. Uh, we appreciate it. We, we care amazing. about them. And, you know, it just, it's been such a battle with her every day, just seeing her struggle and fight and finally getting to a point yesterday where... We risked, you know, with the surgery, but she she had the strength that we needed, and she did great. Can she you really tell did. everybody? Because when I posted that yep. photo, it looked like a drumstick. Yeah. So what we end, she ended up having the the large mass on her last uh, nipple with her. So we ended up doing a unilateral mastectomy, meaning we took out both the nipples on that on that side of her body, um, and that big ball was the was that first abscess that we've always been mm. fighting and was just that open wound and then the rest of it was the normal mammary tissue that we removed in efforts to avoid any further um tumor development that unfortunately it's a complication it's something we see as it is she still has other tumors right. on the other we side were noticing that is that something we need to be alarmed about right now down the road okay, okay. let's get her back up let's okay. get her taken care of you know let's get her back in her strength and happy and everything um you know the fact that she didn't have any signs of metastasis at this point tells me that these tumors may be more on the on the benign side um but definitely something yes do we need to be concerned about it sure okay. but with everything that she's gone through in the last in the last week and a half is that something that we're thinking about anything in the next two three weeks no this is a couple months down the road okay. this is when she's back and she's on a good and she's on a great road to recovery just watch them then, to see if they change absolutely. now you're gonna do um obviously um make sure check pathology yep. make sure Yep. To see how long does that usually take to find uh, out? About a week and a half. Okay, okay. This oh. is so amazing.
Dr. Carlos, this is so absolutely. She, feel, she feels so good. She must feel too. so oh, yeah. good. Yeah. To We're, get all that infection out of her. How's her white cell? Have you checked her white uh, cell? As of yesterday, no, the day before yesterday, we were already coming down. We're still high, we're at about 50,000, but we had come down from 66,000. So that's great. What's the norm? Norm is below 19,000. Wow. So we're, we still got a while to go, but wow. um, but like I said, I mean, it doesn't surprise me. Okay. And the culture came back, uh, not nothing too resistant, okay. um, responding to all the medications that we're on, so I'm happy with okay, that Okay, so well. you didn't have to add yep. or switch nope. anything. No, nope. so, so I'm good. Yep. All mm -hmm. we've done is we switched now from injectable to oral. So. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. This Thank is so girl. great. Oh, my beautiful girl. She looks so different, doesn't she? Yes. That little face. She's so tiny. What does she weigh? Do you have any idea? She, is, she came in uh, 9.8. I think yesterday she was 9 point... Oh, 10.2. Excuse me. You're gaining weight from all that chicken? And that hair was probably... Chicken. Well, that was before. That was before we, yeah. <laughs> so good. Linda, look at the snaggle too. Is there anything else that we should... Know right. about no uh, right now right now it's still I mean obviously we're we're still in that long road okay. um you know we'll have to recheck blood work again in a few days especially to check the proteins and those white blood cell counts uh, make sure we're continuing on that um but then other than that one day at a time right yep but other than that it's just continuing her supportive care you know I don't think she'll ever be a very active dog. It's okay. You know, this will probably little we exactly. love this yes <laughs> exactly we love stuffed animals. <laughs> Me so, too. but for the most part, but for the most part, I, I'm happy on how everything's going. I'm happy on how she responded. Uh, you know, her anemia, her everything to all coming around. So, and her gorgeous, um, beautiful I coloring. Know, she's so cute with her little swoosh. We'll put the sweater on, Doctor Carlos. Actually, uh, yet, yet me. Um, the, <laughs> the gentleman that that, that oh, was in love that with Coco. Coco, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, love it. And I just went upstairs and saw Carmen. She looks phenomenal. <sighs> She is a best. She's in heaven, yeah. She's in heaven up there. She's so she happy. So happy. Mm -hmm. And looks oh, so she, magnificent. But she's, she deserves, she needs a home, she and does. a yard, and a family. She's Absolutely. perfect. Yeah. She's a perfect dog. She is. She is. She, is. She, she really is fantastic. I mean, I can't say nothing but good things I about know. her. She's, she's always got a great attitude. I mean, like I said, you see her out there. Yes. Small dogs, big dogs, oh, everything. everything. She's on every dog to say hello. Oh, yeah, she's a good dating yep. machine. This is it, guys. This oh. is our update. Gosh. Of our sweet Linda, we're just gonna go spend a little time with her. Oh, and our amazing Leslie, our volunteer, she bought us this beautiful blanket with the paw prints on it for Linda. So, you guys, big old comfy you know, blanket. Yeah. Got a nice soft blanket. Dr. Carlos can put back there with her and just oh, let her lay on this. That. Oh. Mama, look at you. You're a princess on your mountain. Oh my goodness. Look at that. What? Oh. Ooh, look at you sporting the fancy blanket. Thank you, Auntie Leslie and Uncle Kevin. Look oh, Mama. Baby girl. So good, Mama. The best. The best. I love you. I know. And she is eating. Do you need more chicken? Uh, I think we're about half, we're about a little bit past uh, three quarters of the way done with that chicken. Okay, so we yeah. need to get you another tomorrow. chicken. Yep. Okay. We'll bring one tomorrow. No, but sure. she, yeah, she's, she's devouring it. I've been mixing in some dry, what we've been doing is crushing up some dry kibble. She eating mixing it? In. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. As long as it's mixed in, she'll eat it. But we, and we crush it up. We don't need the, we don't need it at full, but that way she's getting some carbs. She's getting a yeah. little bit more minerals, not just the chicken on itself. Yeah. Look um, at the tongue. Look at the tongue. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> that tongue. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so good, so good. Baby girl, pretty girl. You're the best. Not a problem. Yeah. Thank I'll you, Doctor Carlo. I'll catch up with you guys later. Thank okay. you for Thank everything. You. Bye -bye. Thank you. Such a great, great doctor. And let me tell you, he not only just is so compassionate. Um, I of course said to him because it's not a 24-hour hospital. You know what's the plan for her in the evening and he said no worries I'm taking her home with me and I will monitor her overnight at my home him and his wife his wife also is here it's just such a great great place and so immaculate mm. right Lauren oh the best amazing, amazing. yeah absolutely spotless they're so they've got pride
They do. Mm -hmm. They have heart. Yep. It's really different. It's so mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, so, anyways, this is our amazing update to all of you that are watching. <clears throat> um, all the photos, the videos we've been updating. Uh, Linda was um, belonged, if you want to call it, uh, with a man um, in Liberty City. And I know all of you are just outraged. And you saw the video of the rescue and you saw his other dogs. Let me just say, can you hear me now? Let me just say that animals are considered property in Florida here. Um, and as they're not willing to give up their animals, the dogs are spayed now, they're neutered, they're being fed. Uh, there's nothing. There is absolutely nothing anybody can do if the authorities don't see any reason to remove. What you and I see, I'm right there with you. Let me just say that. And we've offered, believe me, we've offered assistance and he doesn't want it. Um, what, Christine? She needs my chicken and rice. For mm -hmm. sure, Christine. Mm -hmm. Feel free to make a batch. We could use it. We're, we're getting going through chickens like crazy over here with her. We're on our third or fourth chicken. Um, definitely. Chicken and rice and carrots or sweet potato, green beans. That would be awesome. Awesome. Anybody that can, please. We have not covered her medical. It's ongoing. And like I said, um, if she is a candidate for eyesight, cataract surgery, whatever's going on, we're going to make an appointment to see either Dr. Carrasco or uh, Swinger's office. I'm not sure yet, but one of the two to be um, to see if she is a candidate. And if we can restore, can you imagine? Ugh, can you imagine just, going no, from a black sure. world yeah. in the pain that right. she has been living in in the neglect? Yeah to Not this, to removing that massive tumor, getting nothing but love and co constant care around the clock, um, mm -hmm. being shaved down and, and... Strength, got her strength back and everything. And then to be able to see. give her an, a gift of sight? No, kind of, uh, just... We, listen, <laughs> anybody that follows us knows that is our most favorite thing to do is to take mm -hmm. the most critical, the worst cases, and restore, revive, and rehome. And that's our mission. So, you know, we've done many, many surgeries, eye surgeries um, on blind dogs. And if she is a candidate, we are going for it. If she, in her strength, once she builds up her strength. Um, yes, uh, Flo, she did have, that's why I'm updating. We're at the animal hospital. Uh, Dr. Carlos was just in. If you're just jumping on and missed it, she had her surgery yesterday. The tumors were removed. Um, there are some other lumps and bumps that he's going to, you know, getting a pathology, uh, waiting for the pathology to come back for the results. But, you know, how much can you cut mm. from a little dog? She weighs 9 pounds or 10 pounds. I think yeah, she was 9 pounds to, when she right, came in. She's in. up to a little over 10. Yeah. So she's put on a pound. She's fighting still, you know, the high white cell count, which I, he also mentioned in this video. And thank you, Christine. Um... Yes, she's recovering, and we are asking for your assistance. As I stated before, um, her vet bills are still not met. We are also looking into taking her to have her eyes looked at. If she's a candidate, we are definitely going to proceed forward and give her the gift of sight. Um, even if we do one eye, we were talking about, you know, we'll see. But um, so please donate, please, towards Linda and our ongoing mission so we can continue to do what we do, this. Um, as you've noted, we've been putting up a lot of pleas, a lot of begging going on on our Facebook page. Um, we have never been in this position where we are at such a standstill. You know if you follow us pretty much every day, every other day, we're pulling in another dog, we're rescuing another dog, we can't. We don't have the funds, we are paying down our two vet bills um, from two hospitals, and um, again, our critical cases that we posted, the photos, the, the, the numbers, until we get those numbers down, we cannot take in another animal in need. It is killing us. We're all like just strapped. Our hands are behind our back. We can't do anything. It's so hard to say no on a daily basis because I am being personally tagged on so many dogs from the streets, the Redlands, um, the shelters I get every day and I want to say yes, 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 yes. 
So it's up to all of you. We've put out there what we're going through. We don't hide. Um, we put up our challenge, a dollar challenge with over 220,000 followers, supporters. You know, we'll get 100 comments and, you know, generously those people are donating. Um, and like I said, it, it takes a village. So it's up to you. This is all the balls in your court, guys. And if you want us to continue, I guess if it's in God's plan, that's what we'll do. Um, but we need to get these bills down and then we can start saving again. We set up on a monthly basis, even $5 a month, if everybody would do it, it would be an ongoing, an ongoing. thing. We wouldn't even have would... to beg. So Lori's right, and, and Tammy, it's... and everybody has mentioned right. this. Um, when you go to our website, which is 100, the number PLUS, abandonedogs.org, um, there is a an option to donate. You can donate one time. You can donate monthly, you can set up um, a monthly. Even if you set up a $5 or a dollar a month, you I'm telling you, that every month that comes in, it adds up with over 220,000 followers, we wouldn't have to say no. So please, I, I hate even talking about money, but unfortunately it is that piece of paper. So they can't. So we have to do we it. We have to do it. They don't have a voice. We have to beg. And honestly, I know my whole team, none of us have any more pride. I see Jen Kate just jumped on here and she's one to oh, run yeah. around all of she our events. She will do what it takes. She will beg and plead. Yep. So yep. we need, we, this is what we need. We're yep. their voice. This is it. That's so it. So set us. up. Yeah. So it could be so easy so easy so easy so Just easy dollar two three four five a month the fundraisers they help but they just don't cut it no. mm -mm. they don't cut it we no. kill ourselves we set up we're there for hours and hours yeah. in the evening right you know maybe make 300 500 sometimes you know 600 if we're lucky. Spay. you know it covers a spay and yeah. one medical for right. a healthy puppy right pretty much so we need an ongoing mm. so we can just keep keep, keep it, going keep it going yeah Help us keep our mission going. Help us for keep these, saving for, for them, these. like Linda. Right? Where would you be if it wasn't for us and all of these great people, huh, Linda? Mm -hmm. You'd be. I don't even want to think about right. where you would be. You wouldn't be here. That's for sure. You'd probably be Suffering. gone because of that infection and that tumor. So, to all of you that are watching, thank you. Thank you for your love, your support in advance. Please donate for Linda. Her ongoing. We'll update you more um, when the pathology tests come back. And right now, we're going to go cuddle and love up on this mm -hmm. sweet girl. Um, when I shut down, I will put the donation link. I will also, um, I'm also going to mention before I shut down really quickly. You can also donate directly to this animal hospital, Dr. Carlos Neighborhood Veterinary Center. The phone number, you just call in and you say, I want to make a donation for Linda on the 100 plus account. The phone number is 954-505-3757. Again, 954-505-3757. Just mention Linda, 100 plus. If we could just pay down this bill, wow, would that be amazing? That would be amazing. And we can put whatever donations towards mm, her eyes. eyes. It'd be awesome. So thanks in advance, 100 plus. Abandoned dogs mm. of Everglades, Florida. Oh, do I love this face? God. Oh, do I love, love, love this face? Thank you, Lulu. Lulu just posted the phone number. Nice. Great stuff.